The movie starts as a group of Navy SEALs is told that they will be going on a mission to save Dr. Howard Plummer, whose Serbian fighters have taken. When they got the order, they attacked the enemy and Lieutenant Shane Wolf, who was able to free Howard. As they came out, he shows him a picture of his kids and tells him their names, but he doesn't seem to get excited and tells him to move on. Shane gets hurt, and the professor dies in the counterattack before they can continue their trip. Shane gets better after two months, and his commander, Bill Fawcett, gives him a new task. Bill stops him from getting his team together because it's a top secret task, and he can't tell anyone else about it. Shane was getting ready for the job, but he remembered that Bill had told him that the professor's name had been found on a safety deposit box in Zurich. As the rest of the team and the professor's widow plan to look for the box, he is asked to stay at the professor's house in Bethesda to protect his children from the enemy and look for the secret project, the ghost. Shane gets there and Julie, the professor's wife, is there to greet him. She shows him to Kate, Zoe, Seth, and Peter and tells them he will take care of them while she is away. Shane is a little confused when he sees four kids, but the nanny quickly shows shows him there that they are actually five when he meets Tyler. After talking to Julie about the kids first, he does his job and sets up the protection systems around the house. Julie tells her kids goodbye and heads to Zurich, but not before telling them to do what he says. She worries about leaving the kids alone, but Shane and Nanny reassure her they will be fine while she's gone. He returns to work, but he hears one of the kids screaming. He runs to the living room, but everyone is going about their day. He gets mad at how careless they are and tells them they need to be punished, but they don't seem to care at all. At night, he sees someone outside and catches a guy named Scott, and before he can ask anything, Zoe comes out and tells him that it's her boyfriend, Scott. Shane teaches them discipline and trains them after he sees that they don't listen to his orders. The following day, he wakes them up at 6 and tells them to meet at the dining room table. He also makes them wear special security bands. Soon, he realizes that Seth isn't at the meeting, so he angrily breaks down Seth's door to get him out, but Seth comes out of the bathroom and starts yelling at him for breaking the door. Zoe and Seth decide to get rid of of him after seeing this. They spill oil on the stairs, but the poor nanny gets hurt. When Julie and the team get to Zurich, they find the box but can't open it because they need to know the password. Nanny chooses to quit after falling down the stairs, but he doesn't want her to leave because he can't take care of the kids by himself. As he fights with her to keep her from going out the door, Julie calls him and says she might need to stay a few more days. He tries his hardest, but she bites him and runs out of the house, leaving him at the hands of the kids. He tells them that their mother will be staying for a long time. In the in the meantime, Zoe and Seth's school calls and asks him to meet with their vice director. After listening to the call, Shane packs up his kids and gets them ready for school. He takes them all in a minivan. He makes it to school just in time and meets the vice principal, Dwayne Murney. However, Murney starts yelling at the kids for being late to class. He keeps talking, but Principal Claire stops him and tells him to go outside and look over the school. She sends the kids to class and tells him that Julie has already told her what's happening. So, she also lets him stay at school and watch over the children. He stops the bully from hurting Seth, but Dwayne says Seth needs to learn how to protect himself. Shane tries to help Seth escape the vice principal's jokes, but Seth doesn't want his help. Claire comes over to him, but he gets a message about an emergency and has to leave quickly. He goes to the signal, but when he arrives, he finds that the kids have thrown their wristbands into the sewer. He is in a bad mood when he gets to the house. He shows the kids the note, but he doesn't say anything this time because of Claire. Shane returns from taking a shower and sees a lot of kids at the dinner table. They start making fun of him. Kate tells him that they come over once a week and will stay until 8 p.m. He doesn't want to let them stay, but he does, and tells them what to do. Kate is picked on by some boys at school, but he tells her he will protect her. Shane finally gets home and sees Zoe and her friends having a party. He tells them to stop right away. They try to get out of the house quickly, but he makes them clean up and make it as clean as possible. He watches them clean it and finds a CD with the word ghost written on it. He puts it in his pocket. Zoe gets into another fight with him and tells him to leave them alone. Someone breaks into the house before they can say anything else, so he tells the kids to lock themselves in a room. He fights with them, and they must leave the house because of it. After getting rid of them, he returned to the room to tell the kids that they were safe. They ran to him for safety and asked him to not leave them alone. Seth asks them what they want, and they say the CD. The kids finally agree to let him live with them and listen to him. He is called to school again, and the director tells him that Seth has dyed his hair and hasn't been to wrestling practice in over a month. Claire tells him that Seth and Zoe have been having some mental problems, so she asks him to talk to them and find out what's happening. When he gets home from school, 
school, he asks Seth about wrestling. Seth tells him that it's not what he wants to do, and that he's only doing it because his father told him to. Shane goes to Seth's room to talk to him, but when he gets there, he finds that Seth has run away. So Shane goes after Seth after telling Zoe to take care of the other kids. He follows Seth and finds him in a local theater, where he practices for a play. The director, however, leaves the seat because he is not happy with the actor's performances. He goes over to Seth, who thinks he won't understand his drive, but promises to support him and let him do whatever he wants. Shane agrees to take over and direct the show for Seth because he worries about the director. He starts to get closer with the kids. He tells them bedtime stories and dances with Peter to help him fall asleep, just like Peter's father used to do. He tells Zoe the next day that he knows she's always wanted to drive the car. At school, he tells Dwayne that he quit wrestling to work in a musical play and tells Seth to stand up to Dwayne. Shane decides to wrestle with him despite his anger at him for giving up on wrestling. The fight breaks out, but he quickly knocks the other kid to the ground. While caring for Tyler, he trains Kate and her friends, assists Seth with his acting, and teaches Zoe to drive. He expresses his love for Shane by thanking Peter and calling him daddy while he dances for him at night. When Kate and her pals are bullied once more, they fight back and knock the boys down using the strategies they learned from him. The password Angel, which is written on Julie's ring, is ultimately deciphered. They successfully obtain the box from the officials, and once inside, they discovered a two-pronged key. Shane finds Zoe sitting alone in a room at home and tries to talk to her. At first, she remains silent, but later she speaks out and tells him how much she misses her father. After a while, he gets a call from Julie, who informs him that she will return home shortly. After being shocked by the news, he watches as they finally return to a normal life and began organizing a welcome home party for her. He finds an underground vault in the garage the same day and phones his office to let him know that it needs a two-pronged key to open. When Julie finally returns to the house, the kids throw a surprise party for her. Bill follows Shane to the garage, but they are attacked before they can access the vault. Shane immediately recognizes the attackers as the neighbors Mr. and Mrs. Chun, but to his surprise, Bill also joins them. They imprison Julie, the children, and Bill inside the home, where Bill confesses to working for North Korea. They open the vault with Julie by their side, but are halted by the sophisticated security system. After a little while, the children manage to free themselves and wake Shane, who instructs them to contact the police while he looks for their mother. As they drive off in the minivan, Mr. Chun begins pursuing them in Bill's vehicle. After battling Bill and Chun, Shane arrives to assist Julie and realizes that Peter's dance is the key to entry. He then opens the lock. Kids trick the police into going into the house after they pass by the school, but Mr. Chun shows up and demands that they turn over the ghost while Brandon a gun. While Claire is able to kill him, Shane distracts him by ordering his pet duck, Gary, to attack him. She assists him, and he praises her, but Kate cuts them off. She shows him her affection by giving him a snapshot of the siblings so he will never forget them. The vice principal, Dwayne, plays a nun in Seth's musical production, which they all attend. After retiring from the Navy, Shane joined the school as a wrestling coach, which he tells Claire about. He commends Seth for his accomplishments. Click on one of the two videos on screen right now.